Good evening everyone. The Upper Peninsula Football All-Star Game had a couple lead changes and plenty of drama. Just what you'd want to see from the best players above the Mackinac Bridge. To the Superior Dome we go. The North is wearing the black jerseys while the South is in white. Late in the first quarter after an Andy Cooper interception, the North would cash in as Marquette's Brett Place connects with the Munising Mustang Cooper on a 32-yard touchdown, giving the North a 7-0 lead. The North cashed in again on a second turnover early in the second quarter as Ishpeming's Ozzie Hakarainen falls his blockers four yards to pay turf 14-0 North. Six and a half minutes into the second quarter, Forest Park Lee's Lee Graff burrows and squirms four yards for the score. The extra point was missed, so the North still led 14 to six. Late in the half, Place hands the ball to Brandon Kempinen of Lawns. Four yards for the touchdown, 21-6 North at this point, and that was at the half. Third quarter, the South would find its spark on offense. They were trailing 21 to 12. North Central's Rob Granquist gently lobs a pass to six foot seven Jake Tommen of Iron Mountain for a score. The extra point brought the South within 21 19. The North stalled again, and Menominee's Justin Berlinski goes up the middle 28 yards, and the South had its first lead at 25 21. That's a big run there. Fourth quarter, North responds, play of the game. Go Gibbicks, Jess Mazan makes a great catch off an Austin Kelto throw, 34 yards for the touchdown. North back in front. The South lost the ball on downs, and the North put the game away on this 15 yard sweep by Ishpeming's Ozzie Hakarainen. The North wins this game 35 25. The UP's two state finalists from last November, Ishpeming and Munising, each had a most valuable player. I think turnovers was a big key for us tonight. Turnovers, we got a turnover after their second score. We turned it into a score that was huge for us. I had Austin, who I had throughout my high school career, and then I had Brett, who I'm playing with through college, so that was cool. And every one of these kids is a great kid. To pick a character award to the coaching staff, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, that's probably one of the most difficult things we've had to do because every one of them deserves an award. Jess Mazan of the Gogibic Miners was the character award winner for the North, while St. Ignace's James Kreiderman was the character award winner for the South. The South offense most valuable player was Menominee's Justin Berlinski, and for the South defense MVP, Kingsford's Luke Wachowiak. You can watch a replay of this game tomorrow morning here on TV6 at 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 Central Time. Symmetra Day 2. And Marinette native Abby Dufresne had an early start. Here she is on 11 with a chance for a birdie, but her shot ended a few inches short of the hole. She would par this hole. Here she is again chipping on the green for her third shot of a par 5, and even though the initial shot goes a little deep, she gets a very friendly roll back. She missed her chance for birdie, but she would go on to par the hole. How about the Marquette native Avery Roche Rochester? She was an afternoon tee, and on 12, she drives this one a good distance to get on the green. Still on 12, and Avery had a chance for a birdie, and the shot was beautiful, but she missed it by just a hair, but eventually par the hole. On to the 13th, and this shot was out of the rough, and yet again, just inches separated Avery from sinking this chip for birdie. The 15th hole is the island hole, and Avery here will putt her way to par. Another player close to the UP is Carly Weary of Kenosha. She had a terrific shot to finish her day. Here she is on 17, and this is a putt for birdie. She sinks it and gives a wave to those in attendance. Carly Weary would have the shot of the day. Here she is on 18, what looks like a simple chip onto the green. Turns out a little better. She almost eagles the hole. There she is. You can see it there. She, of course, made that putt and finished her day with the back-to-back -back birdies and one under. With all the excitement that day two held, Carly Worry and last year's winner Molly Aronson spoke about their finishes and their preview for Sunday. I had, I think it was 59 to the pin, but to the front it was 50 yards, so I thought play it right around 55 yards and just took my 60-degree wedge and hit an absolutely perfect shot. I mean, it was an inch from being an eagle, so... Yeah, I just tried to stay calm and the result was really good. Today was a tough day. Um, I didn't have a great start. Well, I started with a birdie, but uh, just wasn't awake this morning. Some nights you just don't sleep well. And um, I'm, I'm actually happy at the end of the day. You know, you don't always have a good day at golf. And I really picked up the pace and shot one under on the back. I wanted to make the cut. Um, I love being here on Sunday. So it really woke me up and I said, you know what? I want to play tomorrow, so be tough and hang in there. You can see Molly, Carly, and many other golfers like Lee Lopez as they finish their race to the card and end the Symmetra Tour at Sweetgrass tomorrow. Tickets are still $10.
The leaders after day two of the semester tour for Sweetgrass are Ann Catherine Tange from Canada shooting 135 for two days. Denny Holmquist of Sweden in second with a 136. Casey Grice out of College Station, Texas in third with a 137. Shannon Fish out of Spring, Texas in fourth with the 138 and four players tied for fifth at 139. On to the Marquette Trails Fest. It pedaled into two with several events. This is the 14 mile short course mountain bike race that started and concluded at Marquette Mountain but traversed around many trails north and east of the mountain. 115 riders chose the short course while 24 people ventured into the 28 mile long course. Marquette's Michael Sadler says hello with about three miles remaining. He was in third place at the time. That's where he would finish. Hancock's Justin Hoffmeyer used a single speed bike to earn the short course win in one hour, six minutes and 41.2 seconds. He was about 45 seconds faster than runner up Daniel Mead of Marquette. For the women, Marquette's Nicole Alexander hits the finish line in one hour, 19 and a half minutes with Marquette's Joe Garo second more than two minutes and 20 seconds. And of course, that will be going on again tomorrow. And a great news for freshman Matt Roy of the Michigan Tech hockey team. Uh, for the Huskies team, Roy was selected by the LA Kings in the seventh round, pick number 194 of the NHL draft. Roy finishes his freshman season with nine assists in 36 games played. He helped the Huskies to a second place finish in the WCHA and a top five national ranking throughout the season.